better sheet members and YouTube viewers. Thanks so much for checking out this video on how to implement a link in bio template in your bio and have it a Google sheet. So in December, 2020, I created what essentially is a link in bio in a Google sheet. And it is a set of um, links in a Google sheet that you can link to. And I've created an extra set of templates right now um, for free. So all members of Better Sheets got this in 2020, in end of 2020. And what they got also is a way to track clicks. So in the member version, there is next to here how many clicks each of these items got. But this one that's free is available. It's just a few designs. So here's a dark button so you can uh, duplicate and use. You can have a dark background here. Um, or I've created some really nice ones like a white outline, very elegant way to display your links. And you can also add more. You can copy and paste these sort of down the line. I thought four looked best. If you love Notion, but you use Google Sheets, I've made a version for you. I actually use the Encode Sans um, uh, font here, so you might have to add that to your fonts up here. Font, more fonts, choose Encode Sans. Uh, also included some small versions, just in case um, you wanted a smaller, the one that worked much better on mobile. Actually, these do work really great on mobile. You can even check it out as long as you have less than, say, 600 pixels wide here. I'd say it will work really good on, on mobile as a viewer. But the small one you might like, uh, just because everything's smaller and you might want to add stuff to the right or you might want to add things to this. So how you use this is you have access to this sheet. It's actually already in my bio, and I'll show you one extra step you can take if you want to put in your Twitter bio, Twitter bio and make it look good at the end of this video. But just any of these templates, you can make an entire copy of this um, sheet. So over here, you're going to see probably a video um, thumbnail here, but copy, just click here. Copy the sheet into your drive. It's going to bring you to a uh, template preview. You just click use template up here in the right corner. Let's see how that looks. Takes a minute for me to load. Use template. You're just going to click that and it'll load up in your Google Drive. Once it's in your Google Drive then, you have access to all these templates and you can create them on a separate sheet, like an entire different worksheet, by just going to this down arrow. Click the down arrow. Let's see what happens. Click the down arrow and copy to new spreadsheet. And then you can name that spreadsheet. You get a whole link to that spreadsheet. And then you put that link. Obviously, you have to share with everyone public on the web. Anyone on the internet with the link can open. First, you do that. Then you copy the entire URL. And up at the top, so let's look at this URL here. Take off all the stuff that says edit, all that stuff to the right and the edit one and add this template slash preview, okay? And that gets you this cool look here. Um, or just delete all that edit stuff and you just get the raw URL and go to your Twitter bio or go to your Instagram bio. We're gonna click edit profile. You can see it already there, docs.google.com spreadsheets. And you just go to edit profile and you put it here. Oh my God, where do we put it? It just went away. Okay, we got it back. So here's your profile. You go to website and paste it right there. And it looks like, obviously, docs.google.com. So if you want to, now this is a bonus for anyone that's watching this whole video. Uh, if you want to make this look nice, it's a really simple thing to do is you can buy a domain. You can buy domains as cheap as like a dollar or two dollars if you want, like that XYZ. I have um, also, if you already have a domain, you can add subdomains and create URL redirecting. So I'll show you that right now. And I use name.com and I just go to manage URL forwarding and I have sheet in bio.bettersheets.co. So all I did is add a new subdomain, sheet in bio. And then I forward to that URL, the URL of the spreadsheet. And that's what I got here. And so now if I just go to sheet in bio, yeah, add an extra E, sheet in bio dot bettersheets.co, it's going to redirect me 
to the Google Sheet. And that's how you can have a Google Sheet in your, your, in your bio over here. So I'm going to just put that in here in my profile. And this is going to look a lot better than docs.google.com, right? Sheet in bio.bettersheets.co. Hit save. And this is what it will look like. Obviously, it won't have the entire URL on this version, um, but it will show Sheet in Bio. Oh, it has the entire thing there. Sometimes if you have a longer subdomain or a long URL, it might not show the entire thing. So maybe on mobile, it might not show the whole thing. But Sheet in Bio .co. And now in my Twitter profile, you can find my link in bio, which will bring you over here to link in bio templates. Um, really excited and hopefully... Uh, a few of you can use this. If you use it, uh, feel free to tag me at Camphy on Twitter and be like, hey, check out my new bio, uh, Sheet in Bio or Link in Bio by Better Sheets. But tag me in it and I'm happy to help promote it, help retweet and, and share in the fun of having a Google Sheet in your bio. Bye.